Hello everyone, it is me, Dingani, and I bring you here once again to talk about video games. More specifically, stylized video games versus realistic video games. For whatever reason, there has always been kind of a battle between the two, ever since that one big initial push of 3D graphics that actually made people look more like people and less like this, there has always been two routes video game developers has had to decide upon. Wait, I can make my game look real, like real life. Or wait, maybe I want a unique and expressive style like so many other timeless video games. Hey, the boss just said the game development is switching exclusively to Kinect, sorry. While providing core gamers a level of control they never dreamed possible. This is so cool. Go faster. But honestly, the more I thought about this topic, the more I thought both realistic and stylized video games are kind of the same. Don't worry, I'll explain that in just a second, but let's look at what types of games go for realism and which ones go for stylism. So we usually see some of the biggest and most casual mainstream games wanting to be realistic. The Call of Duty games, any EA sports game, the Grand Theft Autos, my college debt, etc. And I believe this is because these games are less thematic and more simulation. They go for the realistic approach because it's the idea of the game experience being real. And of course, you want to give off that sense of immersion. Realism is the way to go. But then we also have stylized video games, and of course we got some iconic games as well. The Mario games, The Legend of Zelda series, A Hat in Time, Team Fortress 2, and so on. All of these games usually have more of a theme or creative expression behind it. It's less simulation and more being taken into a whole new world. Now, you're probably telling yourself, Begani, that's pretty obvious. Surely I can see the difference between Mario Kart and Forza. But wait, there's more to it, you idiot. I think the debate among stylism and realism goes plenty further than just how the game looks. Trust me, I'm a professional YouTuber. Realism is the quality or fact representing a person, thing, or situation accurately, or in a way true to life. Us being the humans that we are, unless you're an alien or something, in that case, don't forget to subscribe. Actually, that goes for everyone. Please subscribe. True to life means all of the parts that make us who we are. Our experiences, expressions, emotions are all what counts as true to life. Realism is what makes us connect with things. It's how we relate to anything and get a sense of immersion. You need realism within stylism because without it, there's too much of a disconnect. It's like yin and yang or something, I don't know. Like, look at Link's Awakening. Yeah, the game is super stylized with its art and kind of whole story, but it still has a sense of realism to it because the characters we connect with and the whole world. Honestly, a big reason I love the Legend of Zelda series so much is because so many of the games are different. They all have different thematic elements and art styles, which is pretty neat. Style is the distinctive appearance typically determined by the principles according to which something is designed. The great thing about video games is that they have so much endless potential in every sense of design. A stylized video game is able to vividly express or exaggerate a certain theme or element of a game. Like, come on, look at Toon Link's expressions in Wind Waker. Toon Link, epic. Why is that my line? Like, look at this dude, he's really styling out here, bro. Okay, but actually, a stylized video game is just another way to creatively express your message or theme for a video game. As the industry continues to rapidly grow along with technology, we're able to see both amazing looking stylized and realistic video games. Right now, the latest realistic games are super exciting to play and experience because with each new console generation and technical advancement, we're getting closer and closer to the point of honestly not being able to tell the difference between video games and reality. As the market continues to get more competitive, Certain developers, hey, may just want to look into having a stylistic art style because it's more unique and you could also better express the theme of your game. Also because the stylized art style is a lot cheaper and easier. E <laughs> Fa, delete it. De also because the stylized art style is a lot cheaper, easier, and more efficient to develop. I like to imagine it as a scale from realism to stylism. There are games that are honestly just suited for realism or just stylism. All right, so on the stylism side, we obviously got the games that are made with that stylistic intent. Hollow Knight, Splatoon, the Mario games, etc. And on the opposite side, we have the realistic games that are literally made to simulate realism. GTA, Forza, Rainbow Six Siege, you get my point. But I feel like there's a lot of games that could work as either. Now, I'm gonna be looking at these objectively, so please don't yell at me just because I said a certain game could work in another style. Take, for example, Borderlands. It's definitely a more stylized game with its unique art style and crazy world, but the developers, honestly, if they wanted to have a realistic game, they totally could have done it. But it wouldn't be the same Borderlands we know today. And same goes for the opposite too. Marvel's Spider-Man PS4 is an amazing looking game that is just so much fun to play. And I think if they really wanted to, they could have definitely had a more stylized game. But again, it wouldn't be the same Spider-Man game. We'd trade off certain elements of what made the game so great. Let me know your opinions or thoughts about this topic in the comments below, because I'm really curious what you guys honestly think and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun reading them. This is what I think though, and I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong, but basically what I'm saying is, the debate is stupid. Let video games be what they want. There are different purposes for both stylized and realistic video games. Uh, so I'm not really sure how to end this to a transition. Never mind, the game's canceled, the Kinect flopped. Ah! 
Thank you guys for watching this gamer quality content. Comment something right now. Seriously, whatever it may be, it'll help boost my video in the algorithm. Okay, but in actual news, I have a part-time job now, which is cool because I'm actually getting money, but I have less time to work on videos. Uh, I'm not gonna let that stop me though. I really love making these videos, so please give it a share or something. It means a bunch. And also thank you to Thoral and Scuffed Animations for helping me out with this video. Um, I'm terrible at recording audio, so they really helped me out with the studio booth that we got from our community campus. Aha, but um, okay, I'm done babbling now. Thank you for watching. Never mind, the game's being moved to PlayStation Plus.